Yeah, this is Jack and Cheryl's furnace. Looking at adding AC, so we put this in a year ago. Moved it from the crawl space to a closet. It is a downflow. We are kind of limited on height, so I think the best plan is to actually put the coil in the crawl space. So when you look down here, this is the bottom of the furnace. We've got two joists that we're gonna have to get past before we can put the coil in because they're only 14 inches apart. So we've got our bottom of the furnace here, it goes into a 16 inch supply duct. So what I'm thinking is build a plenum between these two joists to bring it down past. And then we could put our coil, might have to rework some of these vent pipes because they're kind of right in there in the way. Put the coil and then build a box all the way to the ground and then we can tie the 16 inch trunk line into the box. Line set, we're gonna go right out that vent there. So you'll see the gas line going out the wall. There's a vent to the left. And the electrical panels in the garage, we can run power from there underneath the home. Come out the same vent for our disconnect. Um, they do have a breaker available. There used to be two stoves, now there's one. So it's 220 breaker spot. We'll have to insulate. The boxes are going to be putting together. And like I said, so build a box to get past the joists. And we'll do our coil and then build another box underneath that we can tie this 16 inch trunk line into um, as high up as we can go to keep it off the ground. I think that's the best course of action. Because otherwise, if we try to do it in the closet, we're going to have some height height issues. And if you guys think you can do it, go for it. But I think the best way is to do it in the crawl space. We're also going to be redoing his return. Moving it from the side it's on, which is that room there, to the other side. So it's not as loud. They spend more time in this room than the other. So we're going to try to divert the noise away from where they spend their time so we're gonna just seal take this half off and just flip it to the other side and do return there's a sliding door that they're gonna pull out and then it'll be kind of behind looks like a bookcase or something on the other side of the wall here so that's what we're looking at